actually my initial impression was that of uh, uh, insensitivity on the part of whoever is desirous and planning to uh, expand the port in the direction of the Shark Island, uh, particularly uh, into the areas where the remains of our ancestors, the remains of the um, those who were interned uh, uh, on the on the island still remain there. Uh, my initial impression was that it was going to be a deliberate desecration of that holy place, of those graves, of those remains. It's actually disrespectful. Uh, it is um, preferring economic gains over history, over our heritage, uh, particularly when we are not settled as far as the issue of reparations are concerned. Uh, so those are my first uh, impressions. Uh, we can take it up from there onwards. Indeed. And and now we we, we, we see that uh, there, there are many calls for, for the government to, to, to halt the planned extension of, 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 of that port on on, on the peninsula, of course, following the, the, the discovery, as you mentioned, of those on my graves, artifacts linked uh, to the genocide. But on the flip side, we also have uh, the uh, Shark Island itself, uh, you know, taking, well, well being, being in the process of moving from NWR now to the National Heritage Council. Um, there were many concerns at first that NWR is simply using this as, as, as a commercial site and it, you know, it's insensitive to use a commercial or to use a, a, a place like Shark Island, a property like Shark Island um, you know, that has so much history to it as, as a commercial site. And now it's being handed over to the National Heritage Council. What are your thoughts on that? You see, <clears throat> the, they say there are about eight or nine stages of genocide, starting with pretexts and, and so on and so on. But the last stage of genocide is denial. And denial encompasses issues such as um, uh, desecrating of uh, graves, uh, doing away with uh, evidence, uh, pretenses, etc., etc., now, for anybody or any institution to use in this particular moment, and in this particular case, the Shark Island as a resort for tourism, uh, for recreation, is part of denial. Oh, no, no, no. Is to put a veneer. Is, can you hear me? I, I can hear you now is to put a veneer on the horrible and terrible uh, events that took place. It's actually to try to erase history. Uh, therefore, it is actually not um, in the interest of national nation building and in the interest of the struggle that we have for reparations where evidence has got to be preserved if we are to be successful. And that's, I don't see why the, um, any institution should want to attempt uh, to hide such information and such evidence uh, at that uh, very regrettable place. In fact, the island was called the Death Island. It is not just a concentration camp. It's actually a Death Island, as it was known during these days, because of the horrible uh, events that took place there. The time on the clock is now 8.33. We're on conversation with uh, Usutoya Mamberua. He is, of course, a genocide reparations lobbyist and former parliamentarian. We are, while just speaking on uh, this issue of uh, the Women authorities facing calls to halt the plans uh, planned extension, rather, of a port on, on the Shark Island Peninsula following the discovery of unmarked graves and artifacts linked 
to the Herero and Nama genocide. Uh, Honorable, there, I'm, I'm not sure if you saw the front page of the Namibian newspaper, but now we, we have seen uh, members of parliament come out and, and say that if this is the case, uh, if, if, if government wants to extend you know, the, the port there, uh, they should compensate families with graves at Chalk Island where, where that uh, proposed uh, hydrogen project is being planned. I've seen it. <clears throat> I did not read the article, but I saw the heading. Mm. And I'm totally disappointed in that suggestion. We are not at a stage where government has got to compensate those who perished on uh, Shark Island. Because we have not done any research yet. We don't know who actually died on Shark Island. We don't know how many people died on Shark Island. So what is it that we are going to compensate for? To whom? We have not done any DNA on those remains to actually link them to the existing uh, relatives at the moment. That has not been done. No research has been done as far as uh, the events of uh, those horrible events of Shark Island. So for us to start talking about families must be compensated, I think it's too premature and it's not acceptable at the moment. And in fact, there is no rationale for that. That area must be, preserve, must be preserved for posterity, basically forever. We should never, ever try to temper with it in the way of expanding a port, in a way of doing away with that evidence, never ever. So, so that is my so, position. So, 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 so is this is it, is this to say that <clears throat> no no form of development should can happen at 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 and around the area, even if it is you know for the betterment of the country. We've got options. We've got alternatives. The port can expand in the interest of the oil exports and the green hydrogen, but the expansion of the port can go northwards where the island is not located. There is also another alternative, drenching the port to make it deeper for purposes of uh, accommodating bigger vessels and so on. Why timber with the direction, with the area, where the Shark Island is located. Um, the revenue from the oil industry and the green hydrogen is so mammoth, so big, so huge, that actually they can afford to even develop another port next to Lutheran. There is no reason or any rationale or any justification why the expansion should actually uh, timber with a place, Shark Island, given all the reasons that we have just cited and many other reasons. We are not done yet with our case against Germany. We have not settled any reparations to the Germany. And we are not there to erase history we have to preserve our history we have to preserve that evidence for post for posterity for the generations to come and we have to give the deserved respect to those who have perished on that island on that death island as it was known 838 so is... no justification for, for for expansion in that direction at all there are other alternatives as I've just uh, enumerated. 8.38 is the time of the clock. We, we are in conversation with uh, Ustwaya Mamberuwa this morning. We are uh, speaking on, uh, well, what the, the most Namibians essentially aren't too happy about is the extension of a port on, on the Shark Island Peninsula. Um, you, you mentioned that uh, compensation won't even make sense because we don't even uh, know who's there yet. We, we haven't done that research or... Do you know of anyone, you know, perhaps you, perhaps other lobbyists that, that are taking that task upon themselves to 
um, you know, speak to certain families that might be related to those that that whose remains are there in Shark Island. No, it's not a question of uh, speaking to families. It's a question of uh, doing proper DNA first. It's a question of uh, budgeting for that huge task, and that is a national obligation. The money must come from the public purse. It has to be a national project in order to discover to discover all those uh, hidden uh, information and, uh, as you say, the artifacts, the the, the, the remains, and uh, everything. So it's a project that will take years and a lot of money. Uh, so it is not for individuals to start talking to each other to ask whether you had a family that died there or something like that and so on. That will not uh, achieve the objective. And, and that is actually going to be uh, disingenuous to proceed in that direction. Uh, the state must take its responsibility. That is a state responsibility and not a responsibility of individuals. Just before we do... The that... individuals can provide some information given um, a proper designed and planned uh, program and project uh, to discover and uncover whatever is hidden there. Just before we do let you go, on Mambero, what, what, what are your thoughts especially now with these new developments on on government's general stance on the issue of the genocide i mean um you know th- there's obviously an unsettling unhappiness you know regarding the the issue of the negotiations uh, but now there's urge to to expand the port some are saying that 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 government is just inconsiderate and doesn't really care when it comes to Indeed. to anything regarding the genocide are those your thoughts as well Indeed, government is uh, in considering. Uh, government has not taken the issue of genocide seriously. Um, I had tabled a motion on the 26th of April 2016 for a genocide remembrance day to be enacted in Namibia. At least that Namibia can say Namibia recognizes that genocide has taken place in Namibia. But up to now, as I'm speaking now, nothing has happened. Namibia officially has not recognized that genocide has taken place in Namibia. And now, to add, um, to make it actually still worse, the government is tolerating the expansion of the port into Shark Island, desecrating grace, disrespecting the remains of our ancestors, that holy place, and the pathetic outcome of the joint declaration between Germany and Namibia. Those are all uh, sum up of evidence indicating that Namibia, or the state, or the government, rather, is actually not serious and disinterested in a final and respectful resolution of the issue of genocide in Namibia. Recently, the Namibian government has joined South Africa in condemning the genocide taking place in Gaza by Israel. But domestically, the government has not been that serious with regard to its own, uh, the very first genocide of the 20th century uh, within Namibia. What an irony. Honorable Mambero, for your time this morning, we thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Mr. Toya Mambero, not a happy man with uh, the talks of a possible extension uh, to the port of, uh, or the peninsula that's there, uh, at uh, Shark Island. We are going to continue this conversation.
Sima Lope joins us on the line this morning. She's a fourth generation survivor of the Nama and Ovahero genocide, as well as the advisor to the Nama Traditional Leaders Association. We're speaking on the very same issue we just spoke to uh, Honorable Lusutra Mamberua about. Uh, Sima, to you, a very good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you? We're doing well. Hope you're doing well this morning as well. Uh, just to quickly make the most of the time that we have this morning, your your initial thoughts uh, when you heard about that possible planned extension of a port on, on the Shark Island Peninsula? Yes, um, it's very unfortunate. Um, yeah, because uh, already the infrastructure that is there already has compromised the integrity and the sanctity of what is practically a graveyard. Um, It's known that human remains have been found in and around the port in the past when it was built in the first place. So further expansion will only mean further desecration and an erasure of um, the memory of immense pain and suffering and exploitation that has taken place on at, at Shark Island. There's this this suggestion, though, I'm not sure if you saw the front page of the Namibian newspaper, that if that is the case, if government does want to go ahead with this, they must, they must compensate families uh, that have, uh, you know, th- their family members buried, you know, at Shark Island. These came from uh, members of parliament, that suggestion. What are your thoughts um, on that? For me, compensation um, is not even an option. Um, for me, touching the island is not even an option. Um, you know, that would be like selling your soul. That would be touching the souls of ancestors, and the souls of ancestors are not for for sale. I mean, we couldn't, we shouldn't even think about um, touching that island. It is already so awful that the NWR is using the site as a income generating site for tourism to for people to wine and dine on top of a grave. It is shameful of Namibia to, to do such a thing. So, yeah, I, it's, it's, it's just unthinkable. NWR is now, uh, well, in the process of handing over that, that, that uh, Shark Island to the National Heritage Council. Is that, is that something that might please you? Absolutely. Um, That is long overdue and that is because we have been putting a lot of pressure that this is a heritage. It is a heritage for Namibia and therefore um, because it was declared a heritage site, it must be, it should have been handed over immediately to the National Heritage Council and the National Heritage Council equally has an obligation to um, start discussions with the Nama leaders and the Ovaherero leaders, the Damara leaders and so on, to look at a co-management um, type of arrangement um, that will make sure that the integrity and the uh, sanctity of the site is always, always maintained. We are in conversation this morning with uh, Sima Loipet. Uh, we are speaking on that issue of uh, the, uh, the Marine authorities, uh, well, planning to extend uh, or planning an extension of a port on the Shark Island Peninsula. Uh, many have come out and, and, and say that they must halt this call, that they must uh, put this call on, on hold. Uh, I was speaking to Honorable Lesutra Mamberwa earlier, uh, Sima, and he says that there are other ways to um, you know, add development and add value to the country uh, if they want to use areas similar to uh, Shark Island. The question I asked him before that was, should any planned development, if it is in the benefit of Namibians, be halted if it is around in and around the areas of Shark Island? Um, you know, Shark Island, the, the heritage value of Shark Island exceeds any, any economic value. Um, life is not just about money. It's about integrity. It's about being in touch with yourself as a human being. So no econom- n- nothing that brings economic value to Namibia um, can, can ever be done on, on, on Shark Island. It's how do, you, how, how do you go to a place like Auschwitz where such a horror has taken place? And then you build a mall or something that is 
brought economic value to 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 a country. How do you do that on top of Shak, uh, on top of um, Auschwitz? It's unthinkable. So um, the Namport has a responsibility, a moral responsibility, a polit- political responsibility, an economic responsibility to look at alternative sites because the value of Shark Island, it, it is heritage value. And that cannot be calculated. It's Sima, immeasurable. Sima, just before we, we do let you go, what are your thoughts on the developing stance of government on the issue of the genocide if, if if we just look at you know where the negotiations have taken the country to this new proposed development um Osutu Mambero was saying that that government is just you know they're, they're insensitive they don't care about anything when it comes to the genocide what are, what are your thoughts on that um i must say i don't know at the moment what um uh, direction government wants to take um, because they've been quiet for a long time apart from um, the president having said that you know he has appointed um, Netumbo and Vaitwa to further take the discussions but uh, anything I mean anything will not be we will not uh, reach any solution unless we um, respect the participation rights of the Nama and of Aherero people unless Germany truly um, without any, you know, conditions acknowledges that it did, did commit genocide because right now Germany has not acknowledged genocide. It has justified genocide. Every time it says from today's perspective, it means so what was it at the time that it took place? If it is only genocide from today's perspective, then at the time that it took place, it was not genocide because the Nama and the Obaherero people were considered savages and therefore could be killed. That is the position of Germany at the moment. As long as Germany does not change that position, then we haven't reached any conclusion at all. Sima, for your time this morning, we do thank you so much. Thank you.